All right, guys, um, here we are. So um, this is to be the uh, full morning to Taurus tarot report for the L for the uh, 12 a, uh, star signs starting from Aries and uh, moving along all the way to Pisces. So the usual live stream here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the first four uh, star signs, then I'm going to have a break, uh, socializing with you, if you will, where we can we get to talk for whatever topics you want, have a cigarette or something, and so long uh, to the Pisces as well. A um, few notes uh, before we actually start. So there won't be any weekly videos this week on the uh, on the YouTube channel. That is for reason being is that is getting into me, right? I mean, I always play the catch up kind of written. And so what I decided is that I simply going to scrap these ones and I'm going to move to the next one. So hopefully I will start running in a rhythm where uh, the weekly videos are going to be early rather than uh, rather than late hello everybody uh yeah this is uh, by the way my uh my home I, I mean the home of my parents i am i'm visiting them as today is 13th actually while you guys in america is still 12th and today is my birthday so yeah i hop over to visit my parents for my birthday and uh, the funny thing is that I uh, I forgot my tripod and uh, I had to figure something out for my iPhone because I'm recording on my iPhone or I'm making the streams on my iPhone I switched to Mac technology and so I'm using it for a webcam and it's kind of ridiculous but but it works it's uh, it serves its uh, its purpose for now um, all right, so uh, thank you, Anne. Okay, so now we go to uh, Aries first. And uh, for those who are just tuning into this channel and those who for the first time are seeing, you know, my, my readings, <clears throat> what we do here and how we read, it's called Elemental Dignities, right? So I'm gonna pull three cards and um, I'm going to talk about the relationship in between the cards and this is how I formulate the message for the uh, this period full moon in Taurus which I think it takes place from now the 12th up to 29th of November thank you Linda um, Pia, thank you, but I am not really a, a guy that jumps into sweeties, right? I don't like uh, sweet, I don't like salty as well. I'm kind of low, like in the mediocre range, neither sweet or a salty. All right, let's... Shuffle and um, let's see what we got. All right, so for Aries, uh, the first card here is going to be the sun. Does it have a glare? Just let me, because the stream is running a few seconds late. Let me see if it has a glare. No, it doesn't have a glare. All right, so the first card is the sun, and then it's catalyzed by one of its sides here with the uh, Ace of Swords, and then from the other side, it will be catalyzed uh, by the hangman. Okay, so a pretty crucial lunar cycle it is what you are you are having in front of you, Aries, because throughout this lunar cycle you are going to identify what is holding you back and really address the issue, whatever that is have to take or whatever it, it will cost you. You are to address those issues so you don't have to face them any longer and so you don't have those predicaments and plights in generally holding you back. So it's pretty much a, a couple of weeks, I would say, of a um, uh, of a revelations and a lot of truth spoken. For example, if there are things holding you back into your relationship, 
that are, let's say, uh, done by your partner. You will no longer keep your thumb be behind your feet and uh, you're going to raise your voice about it. Same things happening to uh, your career. It could manifest in many, many different cases here. It could be that you are to identify that your laziness, it's, uh, it's something that holds you back. It's something that plays a, um, I don't know, a restrictions that you are self-imposing on yourself. Uh, or uh, you may identify that actually, I don't know, uh, your lack of courage is doing it and etc, etc. The thing it is, uh, guys, uh, that, um, oh my God, thank you for all wishing me happy birthday. Thank you, guys. So the thing here, it is that you are, uh, when you identify what is holding you back, you also are going to see that huge... Um, room for growth i would say and uh, and that is the kicker here is it is that instead of uh, forcing and jumping straight away into it um, uh, raping the situation if you will you are going to more entrust to the natural process of an, of, of unfoldment uh, if you will and that is going to make you far happier than uh, you are right now at the entrance of this uh, lunar cycle so if you are happy right now well I could say that your future state will pretty much be contiguous to ecstasy, if you will. So pretty, like I said, a pretty important um, lunar cycle for you guys. It's time to face the truth, why you're not making the progress you deserve. And you pretty much know why, all right? It's just you need to address the issue. That will require, however, a somewhat a, a mental strength of yours what I, and, and spiritual strength as well. Uh, once again, uh, even if you know the answer or even if you do know what holds you back, if you don't have the courage to face it or to address it, you know, it's still going to hold you uh, back. Thank you, Laurie. Actually, it's today now. I am because I'm living in European Union right now. It's two uh, two a.m. on thirteenth, so it is my birthday right now. Thank you. Thank you, Jolene. All right. Now, next one that is to be Taurus. And for Taurus, we do have the Nine of Cups, which is the first one catalyzed by the Death card from one of its sides. And then the World card is going to be the catalyst from the other. Uh, all right, so just give me, give me a few seconds here, guys, to formulate this one. So it's pretty much what these cards here are speaking for opening some sort of a, a chapter into your life, a, a chapter that uh, I kind of happened by a long shot. What I mean, it is that you, you are to be surprised that actually these things are manifesting. And uh, the good thing here is that the manifesting things are actually going to... Um, provoke fullness in your life or it's kind of like it's going to make your life full and as well it's going to make you feel good in general but the thing as well it is that you Taurus are also going to understand uh, that uh, a further actions needs to be taken in order for you to if you will consolidate or rather like a solidify that progress or that achievement so it can be traversed into more long-term happiness and success rather than a, a short-term one now the world card and the death card are having a, a very big symbiosis in between the nine uh, in between the nine of cups and they are pointing to this transition that one thing it's sorted out it's settled all right and now you're ready to open a new chapter in your life like jumping into the next level that is to be a much more it's not only productive, but as well much more successful than the previous one. 
So uh, it's a very good time for you to go for a promotions, for new jobs, you know, relationships. If you plan to have a child as well, it's a very good time for you. It's generally whatever you, uh, whatever it's going to make your life full. This is the thing that it is given to you to achieve throughout these, uh, throughout these couple of weeks. Now, obviously, for every single one of you guys, it's going to be a different thing, all right? But... Um, uh, that's why maybe for the first couple of days, today, tomorrow, and maybe the day after, uh, you may kind of like slow your pace a little bit so you can decide what really is going to make your life full, what really is going to fulfill the enjoyment in your heart so you can start doing something to, um, to accomplish it. Uh, one thing about the death card here, it is that it may require a certain sacrifice. Uh, what I mean it is that once you start running toward um, the fullness of your life, I would say it that way, you are also going to find out that certain things that you're holding on to at that particular stage, they, can't, they cannot be brought to the next level. Therefore, you have to simply forewarn, forlorn them, forlorn, all right? Yeah, forlorn them. And uh, that will be the challenge itself here, okay? To just say, I can't bring you there and you simply have to be left in my past where I have to burn the bridge with. Simple as that. That may, that, that being said, these could be people, all right? These could be as well certain opportunities and uh, so on and so forth. It's going to be diff different uh, for every single one of you, Aries. Uh, Taurus, excuse me. Okay, so that that was Taurus. Now we are moving to Gemini. Just one second to shuffle the cards once again. Hello, Maria. Thank you. Nice to see you too. Thank you, Sheila. So for Gemini, we do have the star card, which is the first one. Uh, it's going to be catalyzed by the Six of Pentacles here on one of its sides. And then we do have the Lover's card, which is catalyzed on the other. Um, so here, um, here we are talking about a, a singular drive, a drive that does depend only on oneself. But one thing is certain here, uh, Gemini, one way or another, guys, a, a huge um, worries that you are having at that point are going to be uh, simply put resolved almost on their own personal accord. But there is more important thing that you will have to attend to. There will be more than just one openings for you throughout these couple of weeks, openings for you to establish a long term, let's say, plans and as well a long term goals, career wise or relationship wise. Now, the good thing or the good news uh, in regards to that is that all of these uh, opportunities or all of these options available they are going to be, I would say, beneficial, okay? So they are going to be for the greater good. The bad news is that you cannot have it all, all right? You have to decide which one you are to develop and which one you are to simply abandon, which one you are to pass. So you can take it as this, all right? You may, here it is just an example. You may have the option to choose from two jobs. You can't have them both. You have to decide one of them. You may have the option to choose from two people to be with. You can't be with both of them, all right? You have to decide which one you want to go with. Now, uh, the thing is that, um, how can I describe it? Mm. The thing is that you may, uh, because you, th this is going to be a rather tough choice, 
uh, you may be more prone to wait for that decision that you will have to make to become more obvious to you as the time passes, okay? For example, if you do have to choose in between two people, um, then you may be prone to wait up until one of these people screw up so your decision becomes obvious right the right decision becomes obvious now that is not going to happen the more you postpone your decision the more you are wasting time one way or another that decision is yours to make and you have to make it definitively what i mean is that uh, you shouldn't have uh, how do you say it in english a a change of heart once you decide what direction you are to go but once again, as soon as you make up your mind in regards to that troublesome situation um, in your life, because this thing manifests in a troublesome situation, situation that you that uh, a havoc was wreaked up until this moment, where a, um, a whirlwind of chaos uh, was manifesting, all right? And so that uh, full moon puts an end of this turmoil and gives you the option to... I don't know, to simply proceed, okay? To proceed and to manifest your, your dream with this person, with this job, with this endeavor, so on and so forth. And so you have to grasp that opportunity uh, and uh, just move on forward. But once again, one is certain it is that a lot of a uh, problems and a lot of stress is going to be sorted out for you. And it seems like that you are going to feel yourself a light as a feather. Okay, but once again, that that thing is pending on your personal drive. No one can make that decision for you, and no one can take you what is the right choice because simply there is none. Okay, uh, both decisions or both choices they are equally appropriate, and it is just a matter of a personal preference. All right, so. Um, Здрасти, Бета. You speak Bulgarian? Alright, so uh, the next one is going to be Cancer. Hello, Madeleine. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. All right. So, Cancer, uh, you do have the hangman on the on the first draw. It's catalyzed by the Aeon, uh, the Aeon card into the Alistair Crowley deck, which this is, okay? This is the Millennium Top Tarot, it is the Judgment card. And afterwards, it's going to be catalyzed here by the Four of Cups. So we do have those three cards. And uh, well, uh, first thing I, I am noticing is that this is a rather big, full moon okay actually pisces moonbeam that is a uh, reader on my website it actually wrote me what this what this lunar cycle me <clears throat> excuse me means astrologically and basically what she wrote here it's that's uh, we are releasing deep roots And basically, we are striving toward what we are to desire and we are to work in order to manifest yields um, and basically to produce results. 
and release what can no longer grow which is simply that's what the previous three readings was all about so that is pretty much the theme that this full moon into Taurus is so basically it's a big thing and it's um, Uh, and uh, simply, uh, th th this is also a topic for Cancer here. Uh, now, with these three cards, uh, you guys are going to have uh, somewhat of a... Um, uh, it's not even a wake-up call. I don't know how to describe it. So, uh, once again, the cards are the Hangman here with the Four of Cups and uh, with the Judgment. All right, so these three. And um, I would say it that way. I would try to explain it with a, uh, a stage, with example. So um, say you are in um, a very good position into your career and into your job, okay? And up until this moment, you haven't thought about much of, about your future into, uh, in job-wise um, overall. It is because uh, one or another way you have to a certain extent achieved your um, your expectations okay and throughout these couple of weeks a, a new nagging feeling is going to start planting seeds within you that you have to move along okay so that you have to go for more simply which is the aeon which is this judgment card that is simply destroying the hangman and the four of cups which both cards are pointing to the roots that you have placed into either your career or your relationship but what i'm talking here about roots i'm not talking about leaving your career or leaving your relationship under roots i mean the stage of your career or of your relationship that you are right now a stage that it is simply deprived from growing and it needs to progress that's the whole point so you can't grow in this stage you need to progress into the next stage so you can grow therefore if you are for example in a long-term relationship you have to start to think of probably moving on together or uh, kind of thinking of and an engagement and etc etc thing that is going to stir the dynamic into the relationship um, again or if we're talking about career maybe involving yourself into a, a more challenging project okay and seeking a, a cooperation with people that are dealing with more complex projects and etc etc so it's all about challenging yourself because for you cancer this lunar cycle is simultaneously a um a, a test and uh, and a breakthrough so it's like a turning point in your life in general not just into your career not just into your love but love life but into your life in general a, a turning point where you are to simply bring down self-imposed barriers that you placed in front of your uh, in front of yourself yeah on your own thinking that you either don't deserve more or that you can't go for more or that you don't need more and for that reason this lunar cycle it is a cycle where you have to clinch more towards your logical thinking rather than towards your emotional state and when you logically you observe your situation you will completely understand that you can have more it's as simple as that and therefore go for more that is the only thing that you need to pay attention to it is a call from the universe that is going to happen through some random events right like a uh, events that are happening by a chance like a luck all right i don't know how to say it in english it's like a, a lucky event and that is the call that you will need to answer so uh yeah, that being said, this was about cancer. Now I'm going to have my break here, guys. Um, and I'm going to have a couple of swings of my coffee, have a cigarette, and uh, we get to socialize so you can ask me whatever you want. Okay, um, as long as it is not involving me uh, reading tarot cards for you, okay, you can ask me where I live, you can ask me what my hobby is. It's just socializing if you want so I can kind of like rest my mind and rest my vocal cords thank you Lisa
Right? Thank you, Karen. Thank you all for wishing me happy birthday. My hair, what about my hair, Donna? Uh, Lori, uh, Lori, was it hard to learn? to read the tarot mm, yes and no um how can i say it you can very quickly memorize the cards but what the hard thing is really uh what the hard thing is really into the art of reading tarot is to understand the card the cards so simply put it is when someone asks you a question whatever card you draw you need to relate it to the question so for example someone calls to you and asks you what this man feels toward me let's say and you draw and you're drawing i don't know maybe the page of swords all right uh, and you need to be able to talk about feelings when you draw the page of swords only when you can relate the cards with any kind of question except for a medical related question then you truly understand the tarot cards and that comes with practice not not only with reading books it comes with practice it comes with with learning from i don't know from old books as well because they are they have been written for to spread knowledge not for a monitor monetization It's uh, it's much better longer. What 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 do you mean, Donna? Longer like this, or when I was with the uh, with a ponytail? What's my favorite food? Actually, I like burgers and pizza. All right, I I like these. Say, um, in my country, we are we are calling them a a, a bread type food. In America, they are calling it junk food. I pretty often eat McDonald's for supper. I am in Bulgaria. Yeah, I'm living in Bulgaria. Uh, Susanna. What is my favorite book? Uh, my favorite book is Phantoms. I think this is how it's how it's called in the uh, United States, Phantoms by Dean Kuntz. And right now I am reading uh, the uh, the Wheel of Time or Wheel of Time. Um, it's uh, it's like Lord of the Rings type of uh, type of series, which is, which are fourteen books, pretty thick by the way, and uh, it's it's kind of good. But uh, Phantoms is uh, my favorite book. yeah uh well madeline um research this method that i'm using uh the elemental dignities that helps a lot reading the cards in combinations thank you lisa thank you donna thank you yeah well I, actually my hair i don't put much of a uh, care for my hair and i should i think Thank you, Donna. Yeah, but th this is um, uh, it, this is how I intend to keep it. Uh, Lisa, have you been in Bulgaria? And if you have been in Bulgaria, probably you have been on the coast, because that is the most attractive place for a um, for tourists.
Okay, so the break is over, guys, and um, we move on to the Leo. Uh, just give me a second to turn off my air conditioner because it's going to fry me up. So now it's much better. Uh, Madeline, you love the dainty, dainty teacup? What is this? Dainty teacup. You mean this one? Oh, you're, you're hopping over to Bulgaria, Lisa? Well, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you do. Like, as you know, guys, English isn't my native, so some of the terms and uh, the expression I'm unfamiliar with. So pretty much, you know, you can talk among each other with those things, with those expressions, that then I will not know what you are talking about, literally. But yeah, I was about to say, you know, whenever someone of you is just hopping over to Bulgaria, we can have a cup of coffee or something. I love coffee. It's just I'm addicted to coffee and to cigarettes, unfortunately. All right. So uh, next one, uh, that is to be uh, Leo. And uh, the first card for Leo is going to be the Queen of Cups here. Uh, one side... Um, it is catalyzed by the Knights of uh, Pentacles, that is the Prince of Pentacles in this deck, and the other and from the other side is going to be about uh, is going to be catalyzed by the Nine of Cups. Hmm. We're talking about a, a person here, Queen of Cups. So it's uh, pretty much uh, someone who is putting on a brakes on you. Breaks in the sense, uh, it is that, um, how can I say it? Well, it's pretty much someone who doesn't want you to, uh, who doesn't want to see you failing, if you will, and therefore is trying to make you more aware for better options available moving on forward with your, uh, with your endeavors in general. So pretty much uh, this person, uh, it prefers to take the things uh, slowly and steady. And um, how can I say it? It's very aware of what is substantial for one's life. Now, this person, uh, it's highly unlikely to be a lover, though. Now, that person could be, for example, a motherhood figurine, fatherhood figurine. It could be your wife or your husband, if you will. People that deeply, deeply care for you, people that have that um, integrity, personal integrity to you and towards your life as well. They are uh, very... Uh, they are keeping the relationship in between you and them very private, always ready to give you a shoulder to lean on. So that person is going to be a big support to you and from a big use of you, Leo, throughout these uh, couple of weeks. Now, what is the use that you can uh, that you can have from that person? Well, like I said, the first one and the most important one is that this person is always going to put some brakes on you whenever you are straving toward your own personal destruction. That is very important. And the other use that you are to have from them, it is that together, for what it seems, 
uh, you will be able to spend a lot of uh, quality time, uh, if you will, mainly probably among nature or a certain resorts or in a secluded places where there are none other to pollute, uh, to pollute your um, emotional uh, restoration. So for you, Leo, this, uh, this lunar cycle, it is all about emotional restoration and it is all about a, um, a, a awareness that it is one thing to achieve something, it is, the, it is another thing to sustain it. Achieving, it's much easier than sustaining it. And so this is the thing that you're gonna work over with uh, this person which is the queen of uh, the queen of cups All right so that was about leo now the next one is going to be virgo you mean we're going to learn english together madeline is that what you mean Alright, Virgo, uh, the first card here is going to be the Six of Pentacles. The second card which catalyzes the Six of Pentacles, that is to be the Page of uh, the page of Pentacles, this is. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. And the uh, other one is going to be uh, the Seven of Pentacles. So we do have a Three Pentacle card, okay? So when we do have a Three Pentacles card, we are talking about a consolidation. We are talking about... Um, um, securing or ensuring a, a secure future moving on forward. So what these three cards are, are talking about here is that you, Virgo, need to really attend to your devotion straight away, whatever that devotion is all about, career or relationship-wise. And uh, you simply need to start moving along, uh, along with the current placing the right measures uh, into uh, into this endeavor. So uh, do not be over um, attentive. If, for example, your person of interest, it is not paying much attention to you, or if they're really trying to start dating when you're in this kind of stuff, you just, you know, give them what's, uh, what they are going for, rather like date with them. It is kind of like going with the flow throughout these, uh, throughout these couple of weeks. Now, why this, uh, why this is very important is because this will be the only way how you're going to be able to foresee the full potential that your devotion it is to have throughout these, uh, throughout these couple of weeks or whatever potential your devotion holds for its uh, full unfoldment when it comes to it further into the future. Now, important, another important thing here it is that you need to cling into your a creativity. And that kind of sounds very, I would say, abstract, right? But what I mean under creativity here, it is that you need to know your price in a sense of that whatever you can do well, you should never do it for free. Someone wants, um, let's say, a favor from you, well, they need to compensate you for that favor, right? Someone wants your help, same things, the same thing. They need to compensate you uh, for your help. But here, um, these, uh, these couple of weeks, it is where you're gonna start building up your name, uh, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, and you need to do it right. And why it is important to go with the current? Because moving with the current, there will be very important events that it is awaiting for you somewhere along this, uh, along this line. And that important event when grasped, then uh, it seems that many things are going to be, many things that you are hoping for, I would say, are, gonna, are going to start manifesting for yourself. So once again, do not try to fight it, just go along with it. Because 
The only thing that you are going to achieve trying to go against the current, it is struggling and sitting at the same place. You know, no one can beat the river. The river, yeah. So if you try to swim against it, it's not, it's just, it is only struggle and waste of a personal, um, no personal strengths, strength. All right, so next one uh, is going to be uh, Libra. So we all agree that my hair is it's right. It is exactly how it has to be, right? I mean, we we do all agree that. Is there someone that doesn't like my hair? All right, Libra. Five of Cups is going to be the first one, uh, catalyzed by the Tree of Pentacles. And then what we do have is going to be another catalyst of the Temperance card. Oh, so a bit of a, um, a, bit of a rough uh, couple of weeks here. And why rough? Uh, it is because probably up until this moment, uh, you have been either proud or either unwilling to uh, get into a certain, uh, it's not even a cooperation. Let's say that there were people who wanted to support you either financially, you know, either uh, physically in any way, um, either helping you with something or whatever, and you are constantly declining, okay, this, um, the, these proposals for one or another reason, well, now you have to face the reality that actually you need to take um, those proposals, right? Because that is the only way how you are to further your goal, further your goal about your work, further your goal about your relationship and generally continuing on the path that you have a consciously chosen or you have consciously chosen back in the days. Now, uh, what you can do in order to ease this defeat, because this is how you're going to take it, a defeat, all right? You have turned off uh, the helping hand back in the days and now you need to admit that you need that helping hand. So uh, how you can diminish or rather like abate the, uh, the defeat, the feeling of defeat throughout these couple of weeks is by attending to a chores that, uh, you know, you have neglect neglected up until this moment. Those chores could be just as insignificant as making home renovations, cleaning up your home, for example, or your garage or in generally keeping yourself busy. Now, another thing that is going to be very beneficial for you throughout these uh, couple of weeks, it is that you shouldn't be, you should not be stubborn and unyielding. What I mean, it is that you are to face a lot of a, uh, different opinions and different ideas as well. And while you should not feel yourself obliged to keep on going with uh, these, all of these different opinions, you need to as well, um, honor them. I don't know if this is the right word that I should use here. It's like, uh, yeah, well, uh, it's like appreciate them uh, because this uh, will allow you to, uh, let's say, extract the most positive aspects of all of those say, uh, different opinions and actually combine them into a, a very, very good idea. 
So um, for you guys, at the end of the day, it does look like that you are surrounded by uh, people in general that wants to help you with whatever you are doing. But your pride or your stubbornness, it is just pushing all of those people back. And that is a loss that you are suffering right now. This loss, it is for this moment a, a temporary one. Keep on pushing those people back. It's going to become a permanent one. So it's very important here to simply sober yourself, if, I, if you will. And sometimes, or not sometimes, and this time around, admit that you are the weak one and you need help from the strong one. It's a not a bad thing to know when to ask for help. It's just how sometimes, you know, or most of the time people survive because no one does it by themselves. No one. Everybody who is uh, greatly successful, they did it with other people. Because once again, no one does, no one does it by uh, itself. So that was a... Um, Libra, now we are going into Scorpio. Scorpio, our first card is going to be the Ten of Wands, catalyzed by the Prince of Swords. And then from the other side is catalyzed by the Empress card, a very, very dangerous lunar cycle for us guys. Dangerous it is because we can intoxicate ourselves with a power, right? So this is how it's gonna go here with those uh, three cards. It does look like that uh, we are going to start pressing on, and I really mean pressing on uh, toward our plans and in generally executing our plans to a point where nothing else is gonna matter than our plans, either career-wise or other, either relationship-wise, to a point where whatever decision we are to make, whatever point, whatever stand we are to take, is going to be highly immature in the eyes of everybody around. And um, the kicker here, or rather like the guidance here for us, the Scorpio, it, it is while things are important to be performed, let's say, or to be played by the rules, sometimes it's simply not worth it. And for that reason, uh, whenever a uh, decision we are to make, how we are to, let's say, um, I don't know, how we are to take on our new relationship, you know, how we are to take on our new project and so on and so forth, we shouldn't be blunted by a pure logic, but what, once again, whatever decision we are to, whatever decisions we are to make, those decisions need to be synchronized with our emotions as well. Now, the best thing how we can do so it is when we take a, a withdrawal or when we take a, or when we take a re retreat. And so, to give you an example of that, guys, <clears throat> it's let's say your boss approaches you and tells you, "I have this new task. Do you want to to take it?" Okay. And um, you, our instinct here is because new tasks, new task me, means, you know, new opportunity to basically shine, to stand out. Our instinct is going to be, yes, I want it, without even looking at it, all right? 
But what we should do here it is just say, I'm going to think about it and take a couple of days, let's say, off or just, you know, contemplate on it for a couple of days so you can make the most balanced and well-found decisions. Because at the end of the day here with those cards, Scorpio, whatever we sow, we are to reap, either bitter or sweet. So we have to be very strategic and very accountable, I would say, for whatever actions and decisions we are to make. Because ultimately, at the end, the product of those actions and decisions is going to be power, right? Power over people, power over situations, and generally a power. But we may pay dearly for, a, for that power. Okay, so that was Scorpio, and um, that being said, we're going to the second break here, guys, for five minutes, so we can continue the socializing, and someone said that he's going to teach me English, or we can study together, I don't remember who that was. Well, simply put about Scorpio, it is that we can get what we want these couple of weeks, Okay, it is just at the end of the day, we may find ourselves more stricken by it than a free, right? So let's say we get the relationship we want and suddenly we find out that this relationship is more stifling than happy, right? We get the job we want and we find it more obligatory than beneficial. So that's why it will be important to take a withdrawal or a retreat so at least we can think about you know the repercussions of our actions and maybe we can strike a better deal all right for our job or for our future relationship is all about negotiations here is all about how we place our case throughout these a couple of weeks Well, Tracy, uh, well, at the end of the day, the Bul Bulgarian is not very um, popular language. As a matter of fact, it's spoken only into my country. But I guess this is the case with all of the European countries except England and Spain and maybe France. I mean, French is spoken in Canada, in Quebec, um, Quebec County, I think, or Quebec province. And that's that. So I can't really blame people that they don't speak my language. Uh, and English, it is the most, uh, how can I say it? You know, the most common language. Everybody speaks English in the world. Everybody, everywhere you go, simply people does speak English. So it's kind of inevitable that um, so everybody knows at least a little bit of a uh, of english they they can just get along with uh, with people and yeah about um, about my my uh, vocabulary skills uh, i can thank to video games and um, and books i mean english books and you guys because i do communicate with you and that is very important i mean there are things that i would never know uh, unless I communicate with you guys. Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah, Tracy, thank you. I uh, I kind of think I catch up the the concept. It is just 
you know, sometimes, how can I say it? You know, people are different and sometimes people may feel like an obligation to reach some sort of an equilibrium. What I mean is that because I speak English, according to your testimony well, it doesn't mean that everybody needs to speak Bulgarian well, right? It's just, I nobody needs to. It's a difficult language to learn and it doesn't serve any purpose. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, uh, New Jersey. From my Leo of New Jersey. All right. I will remember that. And one day, if I hop around, I may be going to get in contact with my Leo in New Jersey. Hello, Ashley. Yes, dear Leo has been done. But uh, you can rewatch the uh, you can watch the replay. Uh, it's going to be after I'm done with the stream. It's going to be on the Facebook page. Probably, uh, if my assistant approves it, it's going to be uploaded into YouTube as well. So, um, hello, Susan. How are you doing? Long time no see. I hope you sorted out your problems and now you are, let's say, uh, having more freedom than usual. You know, yeah, everybody has their own problems. For example, I have a problem with time management right now. It's just, I think I mentioned it in the start of the stream. It's, yeah, guys, I do own you so, it's such a big an apology for not being able to keep up with the uh, uh, I'm hilarious smoking or I, I can make circles all right just take a look can make circles that th this was, by the way, the reason why I was why I start smoking because I because I uh, I thought it's cool, right? I just thought it's cool. It's just, I mean, I was a kid back then, and uh, it's just I this this is why I start smoking, and uh, smoking, excuse me, and so I it, it it how it was being since then. You're in love with, with, with my head? Oh my God. What do you mean mental or regular cigarettes? Dog nuts, all right. Thank you, Sonia. By the way, thank God. You know, I kind of found my hair stylist because every time when I go to a hair saloon, it's just, they never get me the way I want. They just never get me the way I want. And last time, which was a month ago, I went to my hair saloon and I said, I just want it shortened. I don't want the form to change. I just want a to to shorten it a, a finger down and that's that and the woman just did what i wanted i is this so hard because every time when i go to hair saloon and i said i want it shortened with one finger length right and after that i'm finding myself with completely different style it's just it's remarkable how people are capable to do it just pay for something you don't want 
Hello, Leslie. Oh yeah, Susanna, I mean, my biggest issue right now, it's my time management. With all the readings and uh, all the videos, it is just, oh my God, it is just, but I will have to fix that. Why do you want your boyfriend to quit, Victoria? I mean, to quit smoking. If smoking is what makes him happy, why there is a reason for him to quit smoking? All right, so uh, now as this um, break is done, we are moving to the last four star sign, which are Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and then finally Pisces. You love my pro? What what does that mean? Well, unfortunately, unfortunately uh, my favorite hairstylist is not here in Bulgaria. That's my brother. He lives in London and he just opened a, his, own, uh, his own studio. And, you know, it's going pretty well for him right now. So, Sagittarius, uh, for you, we do have the Five of Cups, which is the first one. That is this catalyzed uh, from one side with the Three of Swords. And from the other, oh wow, it's catalyzed by the tower. What do you know? <laughs> so, um, as much as I don't want to say it here, guys, uh, what you are, what you will have to face these couple of weeks, it is a, um, a well, the best way to classify it, that is a painful truth about something it could be about your relationship it could be about your career as well the thing is that uh, this truth is going to completely shatter um your perspectives um uh, in regards to relationship or in regards to career and under shattering i mean that only at the start of this process you're going to feel bad afterwards you're going to feel Relief, because at the end of the day, at least you know, right? And that painful truth may regard to literally almost everything. What I mean is that you may find out that you're pregnant, let's say, all right? That is just something that you haven't expected. So it's unexpected, a thing that causes predicaments, right? That you are to find out throughout these couple of weeks. Now, um, you should, um, how can I say it, hold back to your uh, initial instinct of what to do about it. Because um, actually, uh, this instead of uh, being a, a curse, because this is how you're going to take it, that it, it is some sort of a, a curse for you. Instead of being a curse, actually, at the end of the day, it's going to turn out to be a blessing that you can definitely use to rebuild your situation to rebuild your life, your career, your relationship, you know, and your life in uh, in general. Uh, that being said, this uh, this lunar cycle, uh, it's going to be a cycle of relief for you. At least you know. So uh, I don't want. I hope that this it is not the case with you. But just to give you an example here, okay. 
you uh, are in a dysfunctional relationship and suddenly you find out that uh, your partner is cheating on you. And while this is an excruciating fruit to take, it is the, uh, the thing you needed in order to break this dysfunctional and noxious relationship. So while it is a painful thing to, uh, to um, how can I say, it? To, to digest, in the same time, it is the thing you needed to simply free yourself from the shackles of, um, of a dead weight, let's say it that way. <clears throat> and the other thing that it is, um, that is important here, Sagittarius, is that you shouldn't pretend that nothing is happening. What I mean, it is that if you do need to sob, sob about it. If you do need to to drink your way through it, drink your way through it, right? If you need to sleep through it, then sleep through it and so on and so forth. My point here it is that you need to allow yourself to experience the pain so you can heal from the pain. The more you try to pretend that it is non-existent, that you don't care, the, the stronger the pain will become. And uh, when you finish the process of healing here, guys, it will be also important not to allow um, your emotions to run wild because it is very, um, how can I say it? It is a, um, a very possible at that stage to kind of feel yourself lost. So what I mean here is that whenever, you know, when you go through all that, you shouldn't be biased for your future. Let's say you broke up with your relationship and you start dating with other person here throughout these couple of weeks. You should not be biased that it's going to, it's the same thing is going to happen with this person, all right? You need to basically refresh, restart, rebuild your life. So simply, this is what it's all about. And one life can be, or one situation in life can be rebuilt only if it is completely destroyed to its core foundations right so be prepared sagittarius to really get shaken or get shook uh in this uh in this lunar cycle being kind of like slapped few times from faith or from universe so it can put you into the right direction the direction that you do deserve to have so you can widen and sprout your world so that was about Sagittarius. Now let's go to a Capricorns. All right, so the first card is going to be the tower and it's uh, catalyzed from one side with the lust or in this in this deck is the lust card or in other words, it is the strength card and from the other side, it is catalyzed by the two of wands. You, my friends, Capricorn. This couple of weeks, you are to be the bringer of transformation, the bringer of change. Now, instead of that your life to be shook, you are to completely, how can I say it? Um, it's not even annihilation, it's more like a, um, Well, it's, it's, it's like a destruction of someone else's life, but in a good way, right? So while Sagittarius have their life destroyed and gain, in gaining it, so in gaining the opportunity to rebuild it back, here Capricorn, Capricorns, uh, I think that this is the world, the world you are going to be the harbinger of, um, of destruction. So someone who built their life so strong 
that simply there is no room for you in it, gone. It's the whole, that thing that they have built that there is no room for you in it, is going to be completely destroyed. And so this time around can be built up when there is a room for you in it. So how this is to happen really? Well, in a two ways. The first way, it is that you will have this personal, it's not strength, it is more like a spiritual evaluation to kill the aggression with kindness. That is the one way how you can do it. The other way, it is a about tenacity. Tenacity uh, to, um, uh, to simply deny a certain failure, to deny that it can't happen. It can happen, it just needs rebuilding. It just needs a transformation. Okay, so that, that is the tower, what it's all about. Now, that thing is going to go with very unpleasant symptoms for both of you, for you and for that person that you are to bring their foundation down, that you are to, um, you know, shoot their life. And um, it's, uh, how can I say it? Um, after that, I, it will follow up with a, uh, a period of uh, nurturing, a period of, of nourishment, if you will, where um, uh, basically when the bad time, uh, when, the, when the bad time is over, from there, you alone uh, with that person will be able to forge your destiny. So what I am talking about here, it's a uh, reshaping, for example, of business, reshaping of friendship, reshaping of a, a relationship as well. Something needs to be completely, you know, turned upside down and then, you know, put straight up and then refilled a back again. Something, I mean, something into your life. It could be as well a personal understanding. But what is important here, the most important thing that you need to clinch on here, it is that you have reached a good milestone, right? You basically have grasped yourself upon a certain stage. And from now on, I, your, um, your expectations need to be further developed. But those expectations cannot be met in the current situation. And for that reason, the current situation, which is completely defined by the world of the other person, needs to be annihilated, destroyed. So it's time for you to, how can I say it, um, bear up, right? Just display, uh, if you will, you know, your, um, how, how do you say it in English? Uh, your criteria, display your stipulations, put your ultimatums on the table, but you need to be strong. This is the strength. Nothing has to convince you the other way around. When you do something, you never back yourself off it. This is the only way how you are to produce results. No other way. For example, you kind of like you attend roughly or rather like you put an ultimatum to a person you like and they like you but they don't want but they can't be with you for one or another reason all right and because you feel pity afterwards or some nagging feeling of guilt it is within you you back off this uh this ultimatum or rather like you waver wavering it is not what you want it is not your option it is not your way being strong and standing behind your word, it is what's going to produce the results you, you need. Not just what you want, but the results you need. All right, so our next one, uh, we are going to Aquarius.
Thank you, Catherine. So, uh, Aquarius, the first card here, that is to be uh, the Death card, catalyzed by the Five of Pentacles, and then is going to be catalyzed from the other side with the Princess or the Page of uh, Cups. So, this Lunar Cycle, it is a, about a preparation for the Aquarius. Uh, you are going to be uh, very fortunate to foresee or rather to feel the wind of change that it is coming, okay? The change ain't going to be at that point around you, either career-wise or relationship-wise, but you will start sensing or rather like forewarn yourself where the change is going to hit exactly what that change is going to make vulnerable. So you are going to foresee liabilities that there are to be into either your career or either your relationship <clears throat> moving on forward that are going to come in time. So say uh, you are start dating with someone and you kind of like are logically or intuitively reaching to conclusions what is going to be a liability in this uh, future relationship and a, a potential breakup point. Or same thing goes career-wise or for projects or for a future business partnerships. And so what you have as an option here or as an, op or as an opportunity is to first become more attentive to the overview rather than to the minor and basically um, meaningless a, a, a details. And also what uh, you will have an option to do is to change positions, okay? Um, Resituate yourself in regards to the situation with your husband or wife, with your boss or co-workers, uh, and with people in general that you do care about and people that you depend on. And lastly, it is that um, you also have the time to make crucial assessments to your performance, to the results that you are getting, right, career-wise or relationship-wise, uh, crucial assessments to oneself as well. And all that, it is in order for you to situate yourself in such a way that you take the most out of when the change comes around. So it is more like a, a cycle of warning rather than a, a cycle of activity. And, uh, you will start seeing those fateful signs into a, a, a situations or a, in an event that are undermining your current achievements, that are making a slightly insecure, for example, your relationship or your um, datings, okay, with uh, certain people or with a specific person of individual or your projects, say uh, you start, uh, you are working on an important project and suddenly your boss assigns someone else and you instantly identify that this person is going to be a liability to the project, but you still have a time to do things about it, okay? And uh, for that reason, it does look like that you are, first of all, being very beneficial when the thing goes to, um, I would say again to the next level and um, as, as well you are going to prove yourself as a very valuable asset to either your relationship or to uh, either your uh, career development. All right, so that was about Aquarius and now we are moving to the final one uh, which is a Pisces. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Susan. 
or Susanna. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. All right, Pisces, uh, the first card is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, um, accompanied or catalyzed by the Knights of Pentacles uh, from one side and Seven of Wands from the other. Hmm. So, um, Pisces, that is a very important couple of weeks for you guys. Uh, so basically what these cards here are saying it is that a the time that you are reluctant, the time that you are hesitant, the time that you are apprehensive, it needs to end. Now, this cycle, you need to really press on a specific direction, a specific endeavor that uh, was, I would say, deprived from any development for a quite of a long time. So this um, cycle, you will have an opportunity to further your goal, to further your goal into either career-wise or into either relationship-wise. Few things you need to know. First, whatever actions, or for that matter, a decisions that you are to make in regards to your goal, which is to be a very, very substantial, that is a thing that you're holding on to very dearly, all right? They need, to be, they, they need to be supported with the right determination or with strong determination and determinations and convictions as well. And also, um, you need to give that impression that is the thing you, you want, not just the thing you need, but also the thing you want. Now, that is going to produce significant results into this direction or into this goal. Uh, and those results are going to be success business-wise, um, harmoniously flowing relationships, good friendships, opportunities, and all these things that are going to um, provoke content and they are going to provoke a um, exhilaration and, if you will, sense for usefulness, right? And uh, for some of you as well, a ecstasy. So um, it looks like that uh, now is the time to put all of your strengths and all of your... Um, how can I say it? All of your resources toward your devotion. It's all about that. You have devoted yourself to your family, let's say. This is where you put all of your time and all of your dedication and all of your resources. You have devoted yourself to your career. Well, this is where you will have to put yourself, to put all of that you have in it. And that way, it looks like that you are to ensure a, a long-lasting future of growth, nourishment, and simply success. So that was that. Um, <clears throat> that was that about Pisces, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. Now, um, I am going to have a another cigarette at the end of the stream in case you do have any question or you do want to um, socialize a little bit more with me and uh, yeah uh, if you do want a personal reading by the way with me uh, you can check on my website there you're gonna find all the um, all the services and as well their pricing and as soon as you make your purchase, I will contact with you. I will contact with you via the email that you have made the purchase from, and I uh, will tell you how is to proceed depending on what kind of a reading you are you have purchased. Well, Lorna, I am because right now I am working with numerologist. But here in Bulgaria, a shame she does not know English, all right? But she's a very good numerologist. And actually, it looks like that is going to be an awesome year for me. 
Uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. It starts from today. Thank you, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Spoopy. Uh, yeah, well, we are a big community. Hey, Corinna, by the way, Corinna, thank you so much for your nice um, comments in, um, in one of my posts. I kind of saw it, I read it, it's just, you know, I didn't find time to replay it, to reply it, but thank you, thank you so much for being such a loyal fan of mine. Uh, Tracy, uh, well, uh, it depends, I am offering both services. You can go for recorded reading, you can go for a live reading, that depends entirely on you. But just so I warn you guys, uh, I will not be able to take any readings for tomorrow, you know, or for today for me, it's my birthday. So uh, the earliest that you can um, schedule yourself or schedule yourself, uh, it's, uh, it's Thursday. And that is for live readings. For recorded readings, the queue is quite long, but still within five business days, I think I will manage to send any readings that you guys uh, are to request in case any of you request one. Oh my God, I can't believe that I made it work uh, with my improvised stand. This, I, once again, I forgot my tripod <laughs> at my home. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, Corinna. Thank you. Um, well, you know what, um, guys, I seldom celebrate my birthday. It's not going to be any celebration right now as well. Uh, it's kind of like a family gathering. I haven't done this in, I don't know, maybe 15 years or maybe more now that I think of. And I thought that it is a, a good thing just to come back to your roots. Uh, and it's kind of an excuse to collect some presents, right? Or to collect some money. We, we don't kind of give presents to each other, or at least I don't take any presents. I can buy myself presents. I just need the money <laughs> or I want the money. So yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of nice. Gabe, I don't do free readings. Um, or I do free readings, but for a star sign, if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website and there uh, you are to find all kinds of readings. And uh, once one is purchased, we are going to schedule an appropriate time for it. Or, you know, if it's recorded, I will tell you in what time frame you are to receive uh, the reading. By the way, guys, um, right now it's a kind of like a, a big thing um, in YouTube and in general, a, a certain version of, uh, of interactive reading called Pick a Pile. And I'm kind of contemplating on doing it. I just don't know if I kind of take your opinion about it, it will be a good thing. I'd simply, you have a theme or a topic and there are let's say four piles uh, and you when you think about the topic you choose a pile and then in the video I do the reading with each pile and the pile that you have chose obviously it's the reading in regards to this topic that connects with your life I don't know it's 
it's kind of like a big endeavor because this video is going to take me maybe a couple of days, maybe even three days. I don't know, because they are going to be big readings. It's going to be like something like seven card readings, maybe eight card readings for each pile. And they could be four piles, fifth pi fifth, five piles, six piles. I don't know. Thank you, Mary. I really hope so. I really hope so. At least I'm planning to change some things, especially with my lifestyle. I am planning to start working out again because I haven't worked out in how many now? Two, uh, no, one and a half year I haven't worked out. And it's just, you know, I, it's not even about health, I just like how I look when I work out. Uh, yeah, the, for, okay, so I guess we do have a one positive feedback about them. Thank you, Christina, thank you. Well, we do have two positive feedbacks, then probably sold. All right, so, um, I'm going to make it for the month of uh, December, but first, first guys, I have to focus on the next week videos and then I have to do the monthly videos and then I can focus on the pick a pile videos. But this is only when I go back into the capital where I live and uh, attend to them in my studio. Thank you, Debbie. All right, so uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, it was uh, it was really a pleasure. It was an honor, as uh, usual, to be uh, your host tonight, or in this, uh, or yeah, to be the forecaster for the uh, lunar cycle. And uh, hopefully, we're gonna see each other more often now, as I hopefully. Um, manage my time better and uh, simply that's that once again if you do want a, a private reading you can go to my website it is written here in the post and there you can choose a service of your liking and as soon as the service is purchased I will you know within 24 hours I will contact you with the details how the reading is going to be performed so yeah with all that being said guys Thank you so much and see you around. Bye.